Hey guys, this is Ruby the Math Person. Today I'll be going over question number 315 on SOA exam P. So I'll pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, so assuming that you pause the problem, let's just dive right in. So on Main Street, a driver's speed just before an accident is uniformly distributed on 5 to 20. Given the speed, the resulting loss from an accident is exponentially distributed with mean equal to three times the speed. Calculate the variance of a loss due to an accident on Main Street. Okay, well, the, one of the first thing I notice is this is if you haven't watched my video, this is really close to question number 317 that we had earlier. This one right here, except the only difference is back here the mean was equal to y, and here the mean is equal to three times the speed. So I'm going to assign a variable x to the speed before an accident and a variable y for the, the loss. So then we know that the f of x is uniform on its, oh, 5 to 20 and f of y given x, given, given a speed, yep, given x is exponentially distributed with a mean equal to 3 times the speed, 3 times x. Okay, so and then they ask you to calculate the variance of a loss due to an accident. Calculate the variance of a y. So because we're just trying to find a y by itself without the, without the condition given x, this is a big red flag that you're going to be using the double, the total variance formula. So let's just broke this total variance formula, law of total variance down. So this says that variance of um, exponential of y given x plus the ver the plus the expectation of the variance of y given x is equal to the variance of y. So this is called the total law of variance because these two together makes up the total. At least that's what I think of. And let's just read this again. Given the speed, resulting loss from the accident is exponentially distributed with the mean equal to three times the speed. So they already tell you mean or exponential of y given x is equal to three times x. So they give you that. And because we know that the variance is just the double of the mean, we know that this is equal to 9x squared, because 3x squared, 3x, the whole thing squared is equal to 9x squared. Okay, so we can actually simplify this um, formula down to variance of e given, e expectation of y given x is equal to 3x, plus the expectation of um, variance y, given x is 9x squared. This is what we're trying to find now. And we can actually take that 3 out. And then when we take stuff out, remember it you have to double it. So this becomes 9 variance of x plus expectation of 9x squared. And if you do remember the expectation, oh, and this variance of x is pretty easy, right? Because it's a uniform distribution. So this is just equal to b minus a, which is 20 minus 15. I'll write it out squared over 12. That's our variance formula. Remember, this is our variance formula. Again, if you want, I proved it in my other video right here. Is this it? Yeah. So yeah, I proved it right here. And I actually also proved that the expectation of x squared is equal to b squared plus ab plus a squared over 3. So we can use that as well in this question. Because we can take that 9 now because it's a, a constant, you know, it's just the uh, expectation of x squared, which we know is, this is our variance of x, given that it's uniform, and expectation of the second moment is ab plus a squared plus b squared over 3. But if you don't remember that, that's fine too, because you can derive it pretty easily. So expectation of x squared is just going from 5 to 20, starting from, oh yeah, and then our um, probability function is just 20 minus 5, that's 15, 
and we're evaluating x squared, our second function. So this is equal to x cubed, um, 1 over 3 times 15 times 520. And again, don't forget there's a 9 out here because it's multiplied 9. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then this just cancels out. This is 3 on the top. And I can actually cancel that out. It's 1 over 5. So I'm going to take that coefficient out. This is um, evaluated from 20 to 5. So this is our 9e x squared. Okay, okay. Well, I think I'm just going to type that this whole thing to the calculator. Yeah, maybe. Oh, and this right here is supposed to be a plus. Yeah, I think Yeah, I think that might be the easiest. Oh, I can just simplify a little bit. So this is 3, 4. So this, that's 3 fourth. Um, fifth. <laughs> I meant to say 20 minus 5 here. That's 15 squared plus um, 1 fifth. 20 minus 20 cubed minus 5 cubed. Okay, let's just type that whole thing into the calculator. 3 fourth, 15 squared. I'm trying to show a lot of my steps, so if you guys try this yourself, you can see where you went wrong as well. And this, the second term, is equal to 1575. So this is equal to 1575 plus 168, which is equal to 1743.75, which is approximately 1744, which is your answer E. And that's it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!